thank you for watching another one of my videos. Uh, this is the second video in the Lozy Nightcrawler aka Crawling Dragon series. Um, the previous video, video number one, was about the, the boomerang cyclone wheels with the hot bodies, Sedona styles, and I have to say they look pretty awesome. I made them all four, so they uh, I assembled all four of them, they are complete now, and I have to say I was lo looking at them and oh, that is one sexy combination. So, uh, but today I'm going to, do a, going to work on the Lucy itself. What am I? What am? What am I about to do? Uh, well, it's about the axles. Um, the Lucy. I'm going to uh, replace the worm gears with these with HD these heavy duty worm gears which I ordered which I told in the announcement was a uh, must have as the die hard uh, Lucy crawlers guys did advise me so I've never taken a Lucy axle uh, uh, apart so it's a first for me also uh, by the way but, the, but it definitely will be worth it if you may hear to your left because it is recording in stereo uh, a sound that sounds like a fan blowing you are right uh, I have my studio the light switch I use in my photography job uh, to lighten up the room a bit um, one of the fans they have a bit they have built-in cooling fans and one of them is going a bit berserk so but what also am I about to do with these axles? Well, uh, as I've learned, these Lucy axles, these worm gears, need a lot of grease. They like, they love grease, uh, and they also needs to be maintained on a regular basis. Um, since I'm not the type of guy who is willing to take his axles apart every month, uh, I'm gonna use another trick which I learned on the internet and I'm gonna I'm gonna drill a little hole in the axle. I have these tread tabs here. This is an M3 tread tab. I'm not gonna show it up close. I guess you all know how it looks like. So um, that means I have to drill a small hole. This is a two and a half medium two and a half millimeter bit. And then I will thread this, and I have these these beautiful. I can show this up close. I have these beautiful uh, black carbon steel, steel uh, screws. They are a bit too long, but I will sh shorten them with a Dremel. Um, I put them in there uh, so we can turn it open. And I have a, a, a how, how do you call it a syringe, I believe, uh, with some grease, and then I just have to untighten the screw, take the screw out, take the syringe, put some grease in, and put the screw back in. So uh, just to make it a bit easier for me. So let's do this. I would say. Now to accomplish this, I have my uh, my tr trusty old. We all have this, uh, it's called it, a nut, hmm, how, does a, how is this called in English? Well, you all know what it is, we, we all have, probably have several of them, after having a, a couple of cars, you have a lot of them. Uh, my, my, my trusty pliers, these are some heavy duty pliers. And like my father always t taught me, never, uh, there are three things you should not lend out to the other guys. That is your wife, your camera, and your tools. Well, I made the, 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 mistake, the, the mistake with the f first one to lend it out, and I have learned what has come of it. My camera is my job. Nobody touches my cameras, and my uh, 
tools, I maintain them, I am very uh, fond of my tools, I have invested in high quality tools and I have learned that there is a difference between cheap tools, cheap ass tools and high quality tools, there is a difference. Just like my electric drill, I have a, a, I have a first A brand, first name brand in my electric drill. Oh, this is, it was really tight. Damn. Damn, Luigi. It has never come off. This is the, this is the first time that the, these wheels are coming off. That also is the reason why I have this, this white towel on the table because it also has happened Jesus it also has happened to me that little parts screws nuts you name it fell off on the table which is which is a smooth slippery surface and I never did find it again so I'm really happy then that, that when I ordered I bought this Lucy and I noticed that Lucy is using using different dimensions in hexes than the European metric systems for example this is a 116 in European metric this would have been a 2 millimeter but 2 millimeter is just a little bit too big and one and a half millimeter is a bit too small so I ordered uh, these fitting hexes this is a half and I think they are going to be quite handy 5 64 and so on I'm taking the servo off because I have the, the other servo from Asia T's the, the CYS servo these Luigi rock loss by the way will have, uh, uh, get another purpose they will serve, serve, serve another goal I guess they will be going on one of my SCX's. So my friend Don is running these rock glass, and I've seen them perform. They're brilliant. I have to look up how strong this servo is. Extra high torque digital servo. I will check out the item number on Google and see how strong it is. But for now, for the moment, it'll be a spare. I'm also taking uh, taking already the the links off because they will be they, they will be replaced by this aluminum boom racing. The orange colored links. Now, while disassembling the axle, I noticed that the the steering doesn't go all that smooth. It has a kind of a binding to it. Yeah, and I will see if that can be solved. It doesn't go nice and smooth. Work in progress. Now, guys, when I was uh, removing the st steering link, I noticed that this also goes quite heavy. Doesn't even drop down. But when it was loose. This started to go just a little bit more smooth. This side still goes 
feels binded. Now taking taking the axle, the drive shaft off, it's not, not that e it's not that easy. I try to pull it off, but the judge just won't move. There are these three, these two very tiny little screws. At first, I thought it was one because I couldn't even see the other one. They are that small. But I think to, to take off the drive shaft, the trick with the screwdriver and a little bit of love will do it. Uh, this is moving. Yes. Okay, that's it. So far, so good. Four more, four more little screws to go. Now guys, as you can see, I'm up to the last screws. I first took out these four, which are laying around beneath the, the view of the camera. Just have to take out these two a little bit smaller. And I'm so glad I bought these fitting hex drivers. Uh, also, I keep this on the table just to show you. Boom Racing doesn't have all at the moment available in all colors, but I hope there will be again. Just as much as I hope that uh, that the transmission gears. Did I mention that in the first video? The transmission gears of the of the, of the night crawler are not available anymore. The metal gearings. Uh, so maybe boom racing. This is your. Uh, uh, niche in the market uh, you have the possibilities to, to make those gearings uh, transmission gearings uh, you make them also for other brands um, of course there are literally thousands of Lozy Nycross and Comic Cross out there and they all need metal gears at a certain moment. I know guys who have stripped several of them. So of the plastic gears and now have to switch to metal gears but they just are not available. Alright I took the last screws out and if I'm not mistaken then now I should be able to yes it slides right up, very smooth yes now, let's see if this puppy focuses. Come on, focus. Yes. Give it a bit more on the light. All new, as you can see. So, this is what it's all about. Okay. Well, I guess if I take a look at the new. They are the same, so there will be no difference in, fr in fr front and rear. Put it away. Some grease. Always good to have some grease. I have grease, but... Now, that also brings me to the question, where am I going to make the hole for the Lubric uh, for this small hex I mentioned at first to make lubricating these axles, greasing these axles more easy. This is the front side, and I guess my guess is hey, where does that come from? Okay. My guess is if I make a hole down there, that's and that also is really the only option. And 
that would make that screw, I, I had hoped it would be a little bit thicker, but the plastic as you can see is only two millimeters wide or to name it in American metric system I believe it's just as thick as a little bit thicker than a five five sixty fourth X size yeah. mm. tricky part okay well it's even more easy than I, than I expected Come back here, fold this one open. Oh, it didn't even in a manual. Well, how about that? With my greasy little hands. Now, somebody told me that you should use the last thickest shim. Now my friends, this is, as they believe they call it, where the plot thickens. Because Lucy says in the manual, in most cases we have found that one 3mm shim on each side of the worm spool is ideal. However, on the forum, people are say saying that, that the 3mm shim is even too thick and causes binding. So, since this is the first time for me, I will start with the Lucy at advice, not assembling at all, but just feel if I can feel the difference. So, uh, and they say the three millimeter are the black shims. So that's one black shim. And there goes another black shim. These are the HD worm gears. And they go on like this. On each side. Okay. Put on the bearings. That goes very easily. Both. Um, both sides, careful. Mm -hmm. Not using any violence here to get them on. They, they just slide right on there. Well, that goes smooth. So I will stick with the Lucy advice. They say check for side to side movement and shim accordingly. I can, f it isn't f v visible, I believe, guys, but I can feel uh, some slight movement. There should always be a minimal amount of side play. So, okay, I think I'm doing a good job here. Yeah? Now, here comes the tricky part. <clears throat> what I might just might do hmm, but I cannot see it on the outside is that I drill I have to clean that, this section first a bit this is my finger so <clears throat> it is that on in this part I will try to drill the hole in between these two if my screw might be a bit too long then it will not be that much of an issue because it fits right through there so if I am mistaken by a millimeter mm. this is the favorite and this is my favorite part of the show we go to drama now 
Best investment ever, my drummer. Yes, I'm gonna do this. Alright, I've cleaned this section. All the little particles are out now. This is a wise lesson for me. Uh, now I know that when I'm going to do the rear axle, which goes the same way, I need to do it a little bit different. Also, guys, if you are going to change out the gears for the HD worm gears, there are these very little rings in there. Hard to see, but they are they are in there, and I almost forgot them. Then there would have been two pairs of rings in there. Now I'll take my thread, my tap thread. This has been very. This is a long time ago since I did this. The last time I did this was in school. We had to do this. Coming off. Okay, as you can see, where's my light? It's through there. Okay. Stir it out, twist it out. Well, guys, you gotta hand it to me. I'm looking for the lights. As you can see, right over there is a screw, the exact length. Fits nicely in there. This is how it looks on the outside. Makes it easier, much to even, much easier to maintain. Now, Lucy, adv Lucy advises to use plenty of grease. They say, they even say, grease heavily. So, and who am I not to listen to Lucy? Scissors. Huh? Huh? How does this work? Eh. Nice one, Lucy. There's a leakage in there. Oh guys, this one's ready. This one's assembled again. Um, I'm gonna do the rear axle. Take that one apart. Same idea. Take it apart, drill a hole. Make some thread with the thread tap. Shorten this screw. Should be about a maximum of three millimeters long. So it is as easy as it can get, as it can get, and the HD worm gears fit perfect. I had expected some issues there. I didn't have them. Okay, guys, th I thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the for more videos on the loser. Lucy Nightcrawler aka Crawling Dragon Project. Guys, I thank you for, for watching and being interested in my uh, project. Um, hope to see you again. Thank you.
，拜拜。